I'm not sure if you can tell, but this isn't my regular backdrop. I know it looks pretty similar, but I'm actually outside on the other side of the world. And no, it's not a green screen. Although that probably would have been a lot easier to do and wouldn't have taken me 30 hours to get here. Why didn't you think of that first? Hey, I'm Josh Reimer, and this week I'm doing the Sassy Scoop from Bali. But last week in the United States of America, they took another overdue step forward as Alabama legally started recognizing and issuing same-sex marriage licenses. Well, one man in that state decided to do a little investigating to see what kind of havoc was being created where he lived due to this change in the law. And he posted a video of it on Facebook, which has since gone viral. Take a look. And homosexuals will be getting married in the state of Alabama today. And so I wanted to give you a live report from Blunt County. This uh, pile of uh, brush is still here. And there are no homosexuals laying on top of it. None in the shed either. But we've got to check into this further. Uh, everything's pretty much still the same. Although I did see two squirrels earlier that were kind of suspect. You know what, that's what I was worried about with this whole marriage equality thing. First it's the humans, and then it's just a slippery slope from there. But don't worry, it is Alabama, so I'm sure somebody will shoot those happy squirrels in no time. So the guy in the video is Jeremy Attaway, and he posted it on his profile, but it spread well beyond just his friends, now that it's received almost a million views and over 14,000 people have shared it. It highlights the ridiculous notion that opponents to marriage equality have with thinking that it's somehow going to have a negative impact on their lives. And it also shows that not everybody in Alabama is a bigot or homophobic. Who knew? You learn something new every day. So I think that brings us to 38 states now in America that have same-sex marriage. So it's quickly spreading across the whole country and one day soon, they'll actually catch up to Canada. But don't worry, US. Here in Indonesia, they don't seem to be at all close to having same-sex marriages. In fact, in Jakarta, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people are legally labeled as being mentally handicapped and therefore not protected under the law which begs the question, why aren't mentally handicapped people protected under the law? Anyway, I think Jeremy did a great job of looking into the effects of marriage equality on his own life, but I also think he should probably continue to be vigilant in his search because we all know that the married homosexuals are out there and surely causing all kinds of unseen homosexual misery. I mean, if marriage can make most straight people in Alabama miserable, it surely can do the same for the gays there too. Thanks for watching the Sassy Scoop. If you missed my last video where I asked your questions to Glozell, it's right over there. And below it is my previous top 10 list with gifts that you should be glad you didn't receive on Valentine's Day. And come on back in a couple more days for another video shot here in Bali. Bye. What a great backdrop. And what's even better is that my parents are my crew. Say hi, mom and dad. Hi. <laughs> yeah, get those shades on. <laughs> You're not even in the shot. Oh, hi. <laughs> Subscribe down below. <laughs>